Hey guys, it's me, your gamer girl. We are going to be playing Jerry. Let's get down to business. Now, first of all, the first order of business is to block the pages. As we wait for it to stop. Mute the music. Some fight, get out of my way. Open you up. First, let's go to eat. Now, let's, let's actually listen to this. Ooh, we got some new ones, don't we? Let's listen to this one. the girl do more than just stalk an upperclassman. She stalked any girl who spoke to him. Through student interviews, I kept tabs on what happened to those girls. They became the victims of bullying, were expelled, and in some cases, stopped coming to school. I frequently saw the girl running with a mop and a bucket, as though she always had some sort of mess to clean up. That girl was using manipulation, intimidation, and sometimes even violence, to sabotage the boy's love life. If she wasn't above that kind of be- Behavior, the possibility of murder didn't seem too far off. I didn't want to believe that a schoolgirl would actually commit murder just to keep a boy single, but the evidence was staring me straight in the face. That's when I learned a crucial piece of information. The girl who was murdered at the beginning of the school year had a crush on the same boy that was being stalked. The final piece of the puzzle had fallen into place. I knew that I had found the culprit. I went to the police with my findings. It took a lot of talking, but I was eventually able to convince them to take the girl into custody. Okay. 
so he suspected it. Nobody believed him. That was the problem. The problem was that they didn't. That he expected her, but nobody believed. So let's go to this one. The idea of a murderous schoolgirl was scandalous enough to attract lots of attention. Word of her arrest quickly spread across the entire nation. The trial turned into a media circus. I became a celebrity practically overnight. I didn't want to be a public figure, but I did want my investigative skill to be recognized. I hoped that all the attention would boost my career. As it turns out, I was dead wrong. That manipulative little schoolgirl put on the best act I've ever seen. She cried nonstop, feigned ignorance at every opportunity, and had an excuse for every accusation leveled at her. The court fell in love with her. The media fell in love with her. The entire damn nation fell in love with her. She called me a dirty pervert who enjoyed leering at schoolgirls. She called me a fame-seeking yellow journalist. She claimed that I only accused her of murder for sensational headlines. The court bought every word of it. The day the judge declared her innocent, the entire country celebrated like it was a damn holiday. Ryoba, you should be in the drama club. Because you are so good at acting. Oh, this will be lost when I do that. My life was a living hell for about a year, while the trial was still fresh in people's minds. Eventually, the hatred subsided, but it never truly died. There was always someone who recognized me, no matter how much I tried to change my appearance. Finding employment was nearly impossible. I drifted between part-time jobs and spent my free time drinking to ease the pain of becoming the national punching bag. It was around this point in time that I met my future wife. I still don't understand what she saw in me. I was an absolute wreck, not to mention the- I already, read the I already listened to this one. But you know guys, I'm gonna stop it here. And we will continue with these tapes. Oh, sorry. I know, I'm gross. In the next video. Bye!